Fighting alongside the Jedi, clones saw them as fearless warriors, but for one clone, their ancient magic meant very little. They made mistakes like any clone would, bled like every soldier. After the Clone Wars ended, rumors would spread of another warrior, one unlike any Jedi the clones had fought alongside. Rumors spread by pirates and explorers, but these rumors were different somehow. The first casualty of any war is the truth, but it was also where legends were made. This clone, once again, felt drawn to a life outside of simple farm work. He felt a loyalty and chose to move on. His debt had been repaid with interest. In the past, we see an injured clone, barely clinging to life. He was bred for one purpose, and somehow that brought him solace. One of many, created and trained to fight for the Republic, a cog in an endless machine, making them infinitely important and unimportant. They were taught to obey their generals, but he was left for dead, forgotten before his body had even turned cold. But he would never forget what happened. Two years prior to our story, he was blasted off of a dropship, and his Jedi general was too apathetic to save his loyal clone. Finally, there was someone out there he could respect, someone he could follow, someone who hated Jedi just as much as he did. Clone CT-5539 was ready to join the Grand Army of the Empire.